First episode of the series not to feature Twilight Sparkle. How divine. The aroma. Spiced one apple cider. What the fuck is Rarity talking about? With this amount of smoke in the room, Sweetie Belle should be suffocating. Why have Rarity's parents entered her house without her knowledge? I didn't know you could burn juice. Um, you can't. Let me guess. Apple sauce. Okay, I don't care what kind of logic the magical world this show is set in works under. That makes no sense. How did Sweetie Belle carry those bags into the house? She can't do magic, remember? Rarity gives Sweetie Belle these tails on their own. Next shot, they are in a basket. What the fuck is Sweetie Belle doing here? Sweetie Belle clearly draws this picture with only one crown, but when we see it later, she used at least four different colours. Oh no! Did you use these gems? Well, the chest is empty, Rarity, so what do you think? You know, you can probably still use these gems, Rarity, you just need to wash the glue off. This face is far too adorable. Rarity finds a whole bunch more of these supposedly extremely rare gems pretty easily. Where is this strange red haze coming from? Was there a dust storm in her room? Why is Apple Bloom holding this poster in her mouth when Sweetie Belle finds her? Why it's smashing? This is a disturbingly accurate impression. Right, and any sister who cares about her sister goes. Uh, how do you know that, Sweetie Belle? You only found out about it today. Is Rarity stabbing Sweetie Belle in the head right here? Apple Bloom eats this apple whole. I shall call it Full Spectrum Fashions. Even though there are five outfits there. Applejack is completely covered in grape juice here, but in the next shot, only her front is covered. Uh, stalker much? You know, there's only so much sappiness you can put into a scene. These gems look a little... flat. Is Rarity talking to this plant? But of course I give. I give lessons. Reasonable demands. The element of generosity, everybody. All we are is just a pile of mush and some crumbly dry mess. Taken out of context, that line sounds really weird. I guess it's a good thing Rarity isn't here. Rarity would call the fashion police on me if I got grape juice anywhere near her precious outfits. That's the last word Rarity would use. Rarity never high hopes me. For someone that doesn't like Rarity, Sweetie Belle sure does talk about her a lot. Apple Bloom feels threatened by the idea of Sweetie Belle doing the race with her sister even though she knows she will be dropping out fairly quickly. Rarity's eyes are not this shape. If Sweetie Belle is light enough not to sink into this mud hole, how is she able to stomp these grapes so easily? Berry punch in the race, berry punch in the crowd. Judging from what we saw in Season 1, Rarity should not be okay with being covered from head to hoof in mud. They never finished the race. All this mud that stayed on Rarity for the whole race, even when she is sent flying at one point, comes clean off as soon as it's over. So was Applejack holding her breath that whole time? Did it for us. Hey Rarity, I would stick with what was suggested there. It makes you look far more selfless. With this amount of smoke in the room, they should both be suffocating. What is up with that face? Hasbro. 